it's Annika and welcome back. Today I am going to actually unbox a new wig that I just bought and I'm really excited about it. I'm always excited whenever I buy new wigs and I got a little bit too excited when it first came to the house because I already opened up the box but I left everything else as is on the inside so I can show you guys. So let me go ahead and grab the box. And here it is. So it's a little bit of a big box with just the wig and a couple papers on the inside. Whew. The order list, the packing list in here, and also a little bit of a wig hygiene card. Guard? A wig hygiene guard. And it's something that you do, you put it on your head before trying on wigs just to ensure wigs are eligible for exchange. So that's what that is. In case you guys haven't bought wigs before. Go ahead and take this out. And this wig is a Hen Henry Margu. And it is the 8227 Long Hat Black in color 14H. So let me go ahead and get this guy open. Just clips open here. Slide on out. And this is what it is. Oh, and it has a little shape thing in here. Ugh, it's a little bit hard to get out. <laughs> Here we go. Put that to the side. Okay, so this is the wig. Let me get that a little bit untangled. This was the longest one that they have. I believe they actually have a couple other lengths, but I always like the longer hair. And you can see that this is definitely the black cap. This is the color. And this is actually very pretty. I actually already have this wig in a different color. Well, it's the same hair color, but a different cap. And I'll go ahead and just take that one out for you guys to show you. And here it is. So with this one, I actually do kind of notice, you can see a little bit of a bit more chunky of the low lights on this one compared to the other, or maybe they're kind of similar. Okay, I lied, my bad. All right. So this, of course, like I mentioned, is the second one that I bought. I actually really like this wig. I bought this first one from headcovers.com, and I bought this one from wigs.com. Wigs.com was having a little special the week, one weekend. Uh, normally their prices are about the same, but since it was, this one was 20% off, of course I had to take advantage of that, and that's what I did. Um, Although when Wix.com, when this one came to the door, I didn't have to sign for it, but I had to sign for this one that came uh, from headcovers.com. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference here, but normally as all blonde synthetic wigs, they tend to be a bit on the shinier side when you first get them. I can't tell too much of a difference with the two together. Oh yeah, this one looks a little bit shinier. So what I normally do to actually take care of that to make it look less shiny, make it look more natural, is I do spray it with dry um, hair shampoo and then it makes it look a lot more like this, a lot less shiny. There's another way that you can do it too. You can buy some baby powder. I have not used baby powder. I did buy it. It's sitting under my sink right now. But then I realized, I was like, I don't want to smell like babies. So I just stick with the dry shampoo and it works out really well. But yeah, so this is, this is the wig. And it looks pretty much the same as the other one. You can see the hair kind of like goes through the back of it, of course. So like, you know, your bald head doesn't stick out. And I'm gonna go ahead and try this on for you guys just to show what it looks like on a person. And I will be right back. How does it look? All right, so this is what it looks like on. And it actually looks really cute. See, it's a little bit long, but of course you can always get it cut if you want to. And actually something I forgot to show you guys is on the back, you can adjust the tightness of the hat, which is actually what I had to do with this one a second ago. I had to make it a little bit tighter on my head, but you just adjust it, and this is what the inside looks like. It's just a little bit of hair on there, um, you know, the cap, it's just the cap material. The wig doesn't fill up the entire cap. And that actually kind of brings me to my pros and cons about this wig, because I've had this one about two months, so I'm, I'm definitely used to it by now. So some of the pros would be, 
it's a lot cooler than my full head wig. So much cooler, you guys. Like, this is the one that I'm mainly wearing during the summer right now, just so I can survive and not have a bunch of sweat <laughs> uh, dripping down me. So that is definitely something very positive about this. Um, it doesn't really tangle as much as my other wigs, too. I guess because, uh, as you can see, there's not as much hair with this one, um, which I think, for me, is a plus. There hasn't been too much shedding with this whenever I brush it, but I don't have to brush it all the time to get all those tangles out throughout the entire day, and that's something that can be frustrating sometimes with my other wigs. Also very easy to put on. This is something where I just slip on the cap and I'm just out the door. I don't have to mess with it, comb it, making sure everything is in place and looks amazing. So those are definitely some cons there for this, uh, sorry, pros. Those are definitely some pros there for this wig. Some cons I would have to say is you do have to wear the cap like over the tip of your ears because if you don't, It'll look kind of weird and it'll be like sticking out a little bit. So you do have to, or I do wear it that way where it's over the tip of my ears. When I was first wearing the other one, it would get a little bit uncomfortable, but eventually I have just gotten used to that and I have to give my ears a break anymore. Another con, again, the shininess, just something you're always pretty much going to have to deal with with uh, blonde synthetic wigs. But like I mentioned earlier, there's a way to take care of that. And another con that I found a little bit with the pricing, um, so it does have like other lengths to it, but they're all the same price, which I found a little odd. But that's just how it goes. So with this one, I'm just going to, you know, about the long one, I'm just going to trim it where I want it to be because this is, again, it's a little bit too long. I think I want it to be right here. So yeah, so I'll give you a little bit of turnaround. I still have the tug on it. <laughs> Yeah, that is this wig, and I hope that you guys liked a little bit of the unboxing, chatting a little bit about the wig, and also, you know, a little bit of my experience with the one I already have. Like I mentioned before, I've worn this one for a couple months already, and I've already bought a second one because I liked it that much. Yeah, and thanks so much, guys, for watching this video, and please remember to subscribe, and have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye!